Hi everyone, I'm Ming Qiang. It's my honor to present our work, Soft Mask Adaptive Substructure Extraction for Graph Neural Networks. This is a joint work with Yan Mingsheng, Heng Qi, and Bao Caiyi. This work is about graph level prediction, such as graph classification or graph regression task, similar to image data or graph data. Task relevant structures can be local as given as a given left graph which is more generally large than noisy graphs. This requires that the graph neural network model should be able to focus on task-relevant parts and be invariant to, to, to irrelevant parts. Task-relevant structures can also be theoretical as a given right graph, which is characterized by the interaction of several parts. This requires that the graph neural network model should be able to identify different parts and their interaction. Here, we provide a perspective to characterize the theoretical structure of a graph. Supposing that graph A is characterized by three different parts and their interaction, then graph A is a theoretical graph with the head 2. The nodes within it play different roles in demonstrating the theoretical structure. Some nodes only constitute the structure of the corresponding part, we call them leaf nodes. Others further constitute the interaction of different parts, we call them root, we call them root nodes. Similarly, the theoretical structures can be extended to a height larger than 2, without the above assumption and changed. By removing all leaf nodes, we obtain a reduced graph by given graph B. Involving only root nodes and corresponding edges. The, root, the reduced graph only demonstrates the interaction of these three parts with detailed structures of each part skipped out. Based on this observation, nodes within a hierarchical graph have different statuses, and they should be reflected on in iterative gene operation. So, how to capture theoretical structures by leveraging the statuses of different nodes within a theoretical graph. Empirically, in a multi-layer GNN, the aggregation in lower layers with small receptive fields should be conducted on leaf nodes to encode each part. Then, the aggregation in higher layers with large receptive fields should involve root nodes to encode the interaction of each part. This indicates that each layer would learn on a subgraph of the original graph, and correspondingly, the final graph representation would learn from a sequence of subgraphs. Naturally, there are the following challenges. How to efficiently represent any random subgraph in each layer while maintaining differentiability, and how to decide the sequence of subgraphs learned by the model. We first deal with the first challenge, which requires a general gene model to be able to express any given subgraph. Before that, let us have a quick look at the gene background. General gene follows the message passing framework to aggregate all neighbor's representation to, act to update the representation of current node. For graph level prediction, we also need to compute the, re the representation of the entire graph. The readout function is used to do so, which takes node representation as input and outputs the graph representation. We classify existing models in two categories, those who capture the task-relevant substructure and those who capture the theoretical structure. To allow GM layer to extract any given subgraph, we propose soft mask layer. M is the mask assigned on nodes. The soft mask layer satisfies the following constraints. The linear transformation has no constant part. The activation function equals to zero at the input zero, such as ReLU. The aggregation function is invariant to the input zero, such as sum. Next, we will show how to leverage the above requirements to extract any given subgraph. We first explain this. We first explain the single layer case. 
we can we can extract uh, the given subgraph GS by assigning all nodes within the subgraph m equals one and all the other nodes m equals zero. Then the land graph representation only involves the subgraph GS. Or in other or in other words, the land graph representation is equivalent to that a general model lands on the subgraph. So mask-ly actually converts the problem of extracting the desired subgraph into finding proper mask assignments. This conversion has no skill limitation on the Linux subgraphs. One can extract any desired subgraph by proper mask assignments. While well, in a multi-layer case, this process can be less straightforward in comparison with a single-layer case. Since nodes with since nodes with m equals zero do not actually remove and the, and the aggregation in the next layer would also involve them. To explain it, we define several notation. It denotes a set of node representation. M is the key by matrix that includes mask assignments on all nodes and layers. Its height denotes the representation computed with m equals one on all nodes and layers. In order to represent a subgraph GS, yes. the basic idea is to give all layers and is to give is to give all layers the same mask assignments as that in one layer case. However, not all mask assignments in different layers have an effect on the final representation. Node masks in some layers can take arbitrary values. Here we give all the necessary mask assignments for learning the given subgraph representation and the proof that are given in the paper. According to the board conclusion, we can extract any desired subgraph in the lens representation by properly assigning the matrix M. Similarly, the problem of extracting the desired subgraph is converted to finding the assignments of M. Since different M leads to a different subgraph sequence, and M is not unique for the given subgraph. The required subgraph representation may correspond to a group of subgraph sequences. Next, we generalize this to the hierarchical scenario, which means the, which means the hierarchical structures would also be learned from a sequence of subgraphs. To capture hierarchical structures, neural network boosters, neural network first learn on the subgraph including its local part and then learn on the subgraph including their interaction. From the node perspective, leaf nodes are, uh, are aggregated first and then root nodes are taken into consideration. Taking the simple hierarchical graph with head 2 for example, we stack two soft mask models, each of which lay on, the, lay on a subgraph and the input node features of the later model are the node representations learned by the previous model. Note that the stacked soft mask models are equivalent to one soft mask model with its M being in the concatenation of M in each, in each model. And this can be naturally generalized to the hierarchical structure with height larger than 2. Therefore, the problem of capturing hierarchical structure is converted to finding the assignments of M. Now, we unify subgraph representation learning and hierarchical representation learning into the same strategy, that is, learning from a, a, a sequence of subgraphs of the original graph as well as computing the matrix M. The assignments of M relates to task relevant structures and also varies from different graphs. It should be learned by the neural network itself. Here, we present a method to learn the, assign to learn the assignment of M. We use a separate gen layer to learn the assignment of M on each node from its neighbors. The mask assigned on node V in the case layer is given above. Note that in the computation of mask, the mask value is continuous from 0 to 1, which we call soft mask, not discrete mask value 0 or 1 as analyzed before. Fortunately, the computation of another representation is continuous with respect to variable m. 
Therefore, we can use the continu we can use the continuous mask value to approximate the mask value zero or one. The benefit of a continuous mask value is that uh, widths are taken into consideration. And the node representation is in case layer caps the, the k hope substructure. M multiplied with this gives the weight of that substructure for the new iteration of the computation. The soft mask mechanism can also be generalized into multi channel scenario. To this end, we compute the mask assignment for each channel of a node representation respectively. Multi channel soft mask allows to conduct soft mask on each channel respectively. We, we evaluate how we propose the soft mask model on T1 and Q amended side, respectively, including the original soft mask model and its multi channel variant. This table presents a summary of classification accuracy on two sides. Higher is better. SMG model achieved the top two performance in 9 out of 10 data sites, and they are more competitive on large graphs such as Colab and the three Reddit data sites. This is because in a large graph, task relevant structures may not be characterized by every single detail structure and it is more efficient to focus on the relevant substructure or the hierarchical structure of a graph. This table compares the mean absolute error of our method with baseline and requirement none. Lower is better. Our method achieves the lowest error on the same out of the 12 targets. We also visualize the weight distribution. We also visualize the weight distribution of mask values in different layers. We interpret the weight distribution from two perspectives. One, how the weights are related to graph structures in a single layer. Two, how we change of different layers. All graphs are randomly select all graphs are randomly sampled from the, the corresponding data sites. We use the depth of color to represent the width of nodes. From realization, width of nodes have significant differences and the weight distribution have strong relation to graph structures. Graphs in Reddit are characterized by tree like structures, where most nodes lie in the root and are densely connected. Viewed in different layers, the weights move from leaf paths to root paths. In the first layer, weights are completely distributed on leaf paths, with almost zero weights on root paths, indicating that the land node representation escapes the root paths. While in higher layers, the weights of root paths are increased. This is because this can be the evidence that the hierarchical structures are captured by SMG. The substructure assigned with low weights in lower layer can be assigned with high weights in higher layer, which is consistent with our analysis. Graphs in Colab have dense connections. So Nodes with a large number of neighbors, their values of, their values of representation vectors may increase rapidly due to the usage of some aggregation. The visualization so that in a soft mask GM, nodes with many neighbors learn relatively low ways to restrict the fast growth of the value of the representation vector. Graphs in protein have no attributes. Thus, weights width distribution are also related to node attributes. Nodes with their weights in the first layer mean that these node attributes are not included in the final graph representation which provide a way to find out the task relevant node attributes. Summary We propose to learn the graph representation from a second of subgraphs of the original graph, which unifies subgraph representation and, and theoretical representation learning. To achieve it, we design soft mask layer to allow each layer to learn the desired subgraph. The mask assignment visualization in different layers are consistent with our analysis, and the proposed soft mask model is competitive on large graphs. Thanks for your attention.